If you are a busy mom like me, I'm sure at some point in your life you have neglected your health. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about my health journey over the last few months and what I've been doing to take control of my body right after this. Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Shayla, I'm the creator of Junk Drawer Mom. Um, on this channel, I provide faith-based and inspirational content for moms. So if you're uh, new here or if that's your jam, go ahead and subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you never miss another release. Um, I wanna go ahead and jump right into this video because there are so many things that have been happening over the last few months, probably over the last like five or six months um, that I wanna talk about. Okay, so it's likely that all of us want to be uh, healthier than we currently are. Um, some of us have gained some pandemic pounds, uh, me included. Um, but my story actually starts before that. Um, so just to give you a little recap, uh, my family and I, we lived in Canada for a few years. Um, when we moved back, we were originally from the States, moved to Canada, when we moved back to the US, um, both my husband and I noticed like we pretty much gained 15 pounds right off the bat. Um, do not get me started on um, the FDA and what they allow uh, into our food here in America. That's all, another story for another day. However, we did not change our eating habits or anything like that. Smooth 15, okay? Um, and so obviously like there are other things that play a factor into this. Like we, when we moved back to Canada, our youngest was only six months. And so as you know, your kids get older, you're moving around a lot more, maybe not eating as healthy as you could or should, I don't know. Um, but you know, the years, the years go on. Um, in 2019, um, my younger brother was killed, unfortunately. And so I found from really that point on, um, things kind of took a downward spiral for me. Um, I noticed uh, a lot of my hair f fell out um, just from the stress of everything because he died so traumatically. Um, my hair fell out, I gained a bunch of weight, you know, my mood and like all these things, and then the stress of like having four kids alone, you know, caused me to just not be um, mentally where I needed to be and emotionally where I needed to be and all those things have a part to play in your physical health they just do so fast forward to 2020 you know the pandemic hits and so um, I think again it's another like emotional toll on you really what nothing really changed um, in our like routine and stuff like that other than the fact that we were just always like we were we were together before but then now it's like we are always together you know <laughs> and so um it is it was um a challenge and you just you form these habits of like i know when i get stressed my go-to was i'm about to get some fruit snacks and so i just would eat like a whole box like a costco box of fruit snacks um over like the course of like two weeks because i'm just you know popping back bags because i was so stressed out or just like every time the kids did something to frustrate me that's what i would go for something like a candy or a food or something like that so needless to say i gained probably like a good 25 to 30 pounds since um like 2019. fast forward to uh this fall um i knew that something was wrong I mean, I knew that something was wrong all along, but like now you just really feel like, okay, I need to do something or else this is not gonna be, like I'm not, I can feel myself going down the wrong path and I wanna stop. So I went to the doctor, lo and behold, go figure, right? Um, I went to the doctor to get um, a bunch of blood work done and everything because I've never had my, uh, my blood work done before, um, except for like when I was pregnant and stuff, of course, but um, I got all those, those things done. Long story short, um, I was very deficient in several uh, vitamins, um, things that my body needed to be able to function. I also found out that my body had become insulin resistant because of 
uh, such low vitamin B levels, my body had become insulin, insulin resistant. And the doctor told me that if I did not do something to change it, I could be like a pre-diabetic in like five years. So uh, what she did was she prescribed me a bunch of vitamins and I'm gonna do like another video showing you everything that I have, but it's like 10, 10 different vitamins um, that I need. A lot of the Bs, def definitely vitamin D, um, vitamin A, fish oil, like all these different things. Um, not only that, that all happened like the beginning of fall, maybe September, October. In November, um, my father ended up having a heart attack. And so that is something that was, um, very, what's the right word? Eye opening. Um, and it just kind of like wakes you up like, okay, I really need to be like doing what I know I'm supposed to be doing and like getting on the right path because I, it's my biological father, you know, so that's a direct bloodline um, to me. And I wanna make sure that I am healthy while I'm here on the earth, that I'm sticking around for my children, that I'm, that I'm enjoying them and that they see me being healthy and that they see me taking care of myself, especially for my daughter. You know, she's um, like, we're the only girls in the house. And so it's important that I set a good example for her. Um, and, you know, this is all a part of self-care. A lot of times, you know, it's like, oh, self-care is like, go to the spa, you know, um, like get a day without the kids. Yes, all those things are fine and well and good, but at the same time, um, it's important to take care of yourself physically and like actually go to your wellness checkups, go get your, um, your mammogram done, get your pap smears done, get your blood work done and checked. You know, it's important and especially as um, sicknesses and illnesses are um, running rampant today, um, it's just imperative that we do uh, our due diligence to make sure that we are here and that we're healthy for our families. If you uh, need some ideas for uh, additional self-care, I have a uh, free worksheet for you to download. Uh, the link is in the description box below, um, but it's just a little brainstorming worksheet and I give you suggestions on um, all the different areas of self-care, physical, emotional, social, all those things. Um, so again, that is free for you. Um, just click the link and it'll take you right to it. It's just so important that we take care of ourselves. Um, you know, spiritually, we talk about, people talk about spiritual health all the time. They talk about mental health all the time, you know, and even physical. But I think there are, um, you know, things that we can do practically um, such as eating well, taking your vitamins, things like that, that have a direct correlation to uh, your mental health, anxiety, depression, all these things can uh, be, can, uh, what am I trying to say? All these things can uh, be eradicated or move you closer to eradication uh, with just simply having the proper like physical balance, uh, you know, in your body. Um, along with, of course, you know, the spiritual aspect. And so I just think it's really important um, to address those things and to think about them um, because our bodies are such intricately put together um, creations that each and everything has a part to play. And if one thing is out of whack, then something else over here is gonna be like out of whack too. Um, like I said, in the next video, I wanna talk to you guys and actually show you like all the vitamins um, that I'm taking. Um, and I hope that this inspires you to uh, do your wellness checkup this year, go to the dentist, go get your blood work done, check all those things um, because we need you here. Your life matters um, and you matter to your family. Um, and I care about you, even though I can't see you on the screen, I care um, about your well-being. So don't forget, hiding is overrated and I will see you next time.